New allegations tonight against the Ferndale Police Department. Care Michigan says officers forcibly removed a Muslim woman's hijab for a booking photo. As our Larry Spruill reports, the group is demanding answers from the department and want to make things right without having to file a lawsuit. Her attorneys claim Ferndale Police Department mistreated their client and now she is speaking out about what happened that day. This whole incident has really just left me traumatized. Helena Bow is talking about the moment she was pulled over on 8 Mile Road by Ferndale Police Department in June of this year. Even though the incident is not happening anymore and I'm not there, I can still see myself going through it over and over again. Her attorneys claim Ferndale pulled her over for an expired tag, although she provided the necessary documents. But the problems really started when she entered the city of Ferndale Police Department. There is a female sergeant there notified the officers on duty that our client had a constitutional right to wear her religious head covering. During the booking process, Bo claims she was searched by a male guard and forced to take her booking photo without wearing her hijab. The city of Ferndale has created a permanent public record of our client in a manner that violates her sincerely held religious belief. That's why Michigan CARE announced a civil rights action against Ferndale and the police department. CARE claims Ferndale police target minorities. The city of Ferndale is 88% white, only 6% black. Our client is Muslim, but she's also black. 50% of traffic violations are of black people, even though black people only make up 6% of the population. Wednesday, Ferndale police released this statement and says, in part, our officers were simply following departmental policy, which includes photographing hair as an important identifying feature. Now, in reviewing the case and circumstances, I see the opportunity for our policies to evolve to better meet the needs of our community. And if you want to take a full look at that statement, you can. The information is on our website. Click on Detroit.com. We're live tonight. Larry Sproul. Local 4.